Hello everyone, it's been a while, hasn't it? Today I'm gonna be making three different types of Dalgona. This is all over Instagram these days. Everyone's trying to make Dalgona coffee. Everyone's like, oh, this is the best way to make it. No, you need to make it this way. I'm gonna tell you the real way how to, I'm gonna tell you the real best way. I'm gonna tell you the real best way to make Dalgona coffee. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Sorry, it's kind of a mess behind me, but you know, that's just life. I try. I tried to organize it. Eh, I tried. So this is an ice pack. Now I'm gonna take my big bowl. So here is my handkerchief on top of my ice pack. I'm gonna put my big bowl right on top. So it's nice and cold. And then I'm gonna put hot water with my sugar. I like it's good, it's just, I don't know if it's really worth the hype. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not worth the hype. I think I'll give this like a six out of 10. It's not horrible, it's not, it's not, it's not horrible, it's just. I've had better coffees in my day. Well, on to the next one. We're gonna take our little, I don't know, I call it a coffee pot maker. So I put six spoons of sugar right in there. I don't know if I've succeeded even. It's like so hard to. So I'm heating that up. Take a wooden spoon and just. So once it starts to melt, you'll get kind of like these lumps. Forming. You just want to keep that going until all the sugar melts. It's so warm. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. I'm like sweating. It's almost all melted. Now I'm gonna put some baking soda in there. And stir, stir, stir. I don't know if you can see this, oh my gosh. Oh. That is not looking pretty. Now, that was a flaw. <laughs> I burned my hand, ow. I burned my hand, it's, I think that's the first time I actually burned my hand. <laughs> that was so painful, that was so painful, what the heck? If y'all never made Dalgona before, don't judge me. I put a little bit of burn medicine on my hand so you can see the ointment. All right, take two. Okay. Now that that's done, I've let this piece of Dalgona cool off. <laughs> it's almost as big as my head. Satisfying. 
And don't worry, my hands are clean. I was actually gonna make this like at 2 a.m. in the morning. I think that was a good idea because I would have woken up everyone. I'm done. So there you have it, my pieces of bubble. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. It looks kinda weird at first, but you just let it melt for a second and then it'll mix it around. So much better. Mm. This is so much better than like a regular dalgona. Okay, I would rate this a strong, strong nine. Do you see that the color changing? It's now more like coffee-like. Good thing about this type of Dalbona coffee, coffee, is that it doesn't. You don't have to stand there whipping the coffee for 10 minutes. You just make Dalbona, let it dry, break it up, and then just add it to your milk. It's so much easier in terms of like efficiency, taste, and amount. I think I'll give it to number two. Also in terms of like texture. On to the third one. All right, the third version of Dalgona coffee, I'm not actually gonna make. <laughs> I'll just show you. It's from a TikTok that I found um, on the Facebook group, Subtle Asian Traits. And he called it a novel approach for synthesis of Dalgona coffee. And here it is. know him from um, the UK. So we were in the same rowing club, so I know of him, um, and we're Facebook friends. <laughs> that was the three ways to approach Dalgona coffee. Um, I had fun, except for the part that I burned my hand. You see, I got a blister already. All right, so that's the end of my video today. I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. I hope y'all have a great day. Stay safe, I love you, beautiful. Toodles! Toodles!